We're here at Diddy Years with Communication Studies Professor Ron Pyle, who joined the Whitworth faculty in 1988. Ron, Whitworth wants to know, what's your favorite Diddy Years frozen yogurt flavor? Today I'm eating French vanilla with the huckleberries. I would not eat French vanilla alone, that we call the naked French vanilla. I would not. French vanilla with the huckleberries is, uh, that's a taste treat. Wish you all were here. <laughs> Ron, why did you come to Whitworth? The reason I wanted to be at Whitworth, those reasons are three. First, uh, I knew Whitworth to be a place that values teaching. And I wanted to be at an institution where students weren't treated as an impediment to what faculty are really about. There's almost no place that I'd rather be than in a classroom with the electricity that happens there when students bring so much to the learning. So I wanted to be at a place that values teaching. I wanted to be at a place that values the integration of Christian faith and academic discipline. The third reason that I uh, came to Whitworth is that I knew it to be a place that values the relationships between faculty and students. Tell us about a Whitworth endeavor that you're involved in and excited about. What's, what's coming up for you that you're looking forward to? Well, coming up in the very near future, I for the last six years have been part of the South Africa study program and we go again this January. Uh, that class is a tremendous experience in a whole host of ways. Uh, Whitworth values the mind and heart. This is a, an experience that addresses both. One of the experiences we have in Cape Town is to do a homestay in a black township and there we experienced the grace and generosity of people who would have lots of reason not to be gracious to, to people like me. So, <clears throat> so we get our students in touch with some black South Africans, we get our students in touch with some white Afrikaner families and do homestays with them. In Durban we get our students in touch with Indian Muslim families that have an experience in that culture and um, travel, see a lot of the country, see some amazingly beautiful scenery. South Africa is a country of incredible contrast, uh, almost unbelievable beauty, and almost unbelievably crushing poverty, sometimes side by side. Um, maybe the clearest indication that a class is affecting a student is that the experience of the class transcends the semester. In each of the last two trips that I've taken with, South, with the South Africa study program, some portion of the class has gone back to South Africa to live for at least a period of time and do service and do ministry. What uh, some of our students encounter there so ends up affecting their lives that they come to the conclusion, after I'm finished at Whitworth, I need to do something about this. When you think about all the options available to students once they graduate, the fact that a certain percentage of them want to go back uh, is testimony to the transformative power of that experience. Ron, what is one of your favorite Whitworth student-related experiences that has kind of stuck with you over the past decades you've taught here? Being in Didier just right now, reminds me that a lot of what's best about education doesn't happen in class. It's been traveling with students, whether it's South Africa, like I just described, or uh, across Europe. Uh, witnessing the enthusiasm with which students are engaging what we're experiencing together is so rich. Taking long car rides or train rides with students who decide to let me into some part of their life and hearing about who they are and enjoying the almost indescribable richness of human contact and what happens when lives intersect. So much of that happens outside of class. Ron, thank you for taking part in our inaugural Did Years Tuesdays at Whitworth. Thanks. It's wonderful to have you. Thanks. <laughs> Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the yogurt. Mr. Whitworth. <laughs>